happy tale that proves sometimes finding a forever home takes a little divine intervention in just a little bit of time as pet rescue expert Larissa Gracie the dog and her new mommy Joy. Hey. Welcome, hey. ladies. Hey. So, so beautiful, both of you. Hi, Story. I love what we do. I say this all the time that I have the best job, and I am so lucky because we have now helped find homes for 799 oh. dogs and cats. I told you yesterday we'd get to 800 by yes, the day. Yes, yes. <laughs> because, and it's because of families and wonderful, beautiful people like Joy. And, you know, you may remember this baby who's now Gracie, who was named Goldie just a couple weeks ago. She was actually on our show twice. And a couple weeks ago, she came on with her friend Skip. You can see the two I of them right them. there. <laughs> and, you know, she had had a really, really rough start to life. She was found literally yeah. tied up in a bag and thrown away. And she was fighting for her life, a mm. deathly, a life-threatening illness, or a virus, I should say, called Parvo, which is Parvo virus. And thank goodness, Mutz and Runts in Bakersfield yeah. found her and helped bring her back to life. And luckily, Skip, the other dog that was on with her, foster, fail foster failure, I should say, her family that was fostering her, him, decided that they couldn't live without him, so Aww. he now has a forever home. And then Joy, saw Goldie on our show and scooped her up right away yeah. as well. Yeah, oh joy. So <laughs> literally, you told me that you were praying for a dog just like Goldie now, Gracie, for months. Yes, yes, that what was. Happened? My dream dog is a Cocker Spaniel and I'd been praying for one and I saw um, her on the show. I was walking by doing other things and I saw her and I thought she's just beautiful and I heard her story and I thought, I wanna try, I wanna try to adopt her. Oh, wow. and you did, I know, and what what a, an awful story it was, and you've given her new life and a new home, and she's yes. now safe and sound in your house with the rest of her brothers and sisters. Why, why the name Gracie? I just really felt like that it was just by the grace of God that she survived her circumstances and mm. that she's been placed in our home. And the yeah. timing of it all sort of it's alludes to perfect. that, too. The fact that you were just doing your own thing in the house and having to walk by the TV and heard this voice of this woman right yeah. here. This <laughs> loud, obnoxious, no. whiny voice with this no, dog. <laughs> dogs just, hey, if it catches just, people's attention, I'm okay. But if, if you really think about it, you know, you're praying for a Cocker Spaniel. You, you just happen to be walking by at the right time or the right place. It's a beautiful, by yeah. the grace of God, just like you so said. So true. So we understand, obviously, that uh, Goldie slash Gracie had a really rough start in life. Mm -hmm. How has the, how is this sort of the process been with her adapting to her new life and to your two other dogs. Yeah. Well, we've only had her a week, and um, but I feel like she's really adapted well to our home and to our other animals, our other dogs. Her and Red, um, they like to play ball together and chase each other around the yard. Um, our bigger dog, Buddy, he's a little older, so he, you know, he plays every now and then, but he, you know, he doesn't really join in all the time. Yeah, <laughs> he doesn't want to play. Uh, with that's either okay. One of them. That's great. That's <laughs> right. He can when he wants. And also, as far as you and and your husband, I hear that uh, Gracie needed a little bit of extra time, a little bit uh, time to adapt to having him around. Yes, um, she um, just wasn't real comfortable around men, and so when she met my husband, she was, you know, just a little uncomfortable. Okay, so he kind of eased his way towards her, oh, and he got down on the oh, ground and was goodness. feeding her. By hand, and that's she cool. just kind of. Oh, that's and beautiful. He's, in just one week, she's adjusted so well yeah. already. So well. And it's not just her her little doggy brother and sister. She also has two <laughs> giant <laughs> brothers who um, come in the form of horses. Yes. How, how's that working out for her? <laughs> um, we just introduced her to them this weekend, oh. and she did really well. She's um, a little nervous still, but I think she'll do. She'll that do tail's well. wagging. She looks ready to go jump in and play. Oh, look at oh. that. I love that she's not afraid of them. Oh. Oh my goodness, so that's so sweet. cute. What a beautiful, beautiful story though, yeah. Absolutely, and I love that, you know, we were talking earlier and you said it took her a couple days to even eat oh and it, it got made yeah. you nervous. But the fact that, that she's starting to kind of come out of her shell, and I always tell people when they're adopting or rescuing, sometimes it does take a few days for things to kind of get normal. Sure. Yeah. For food, for bathroom habits, for, mm -hmm. you know, love and attention, and then they slowly start to come right. out oh, and, okay. and want to go play. Shell. And I have to ask you, you know, what would you yeah, tell go. others? No, that's a good She's, she's all right. She can, yeah, she can walk around. That's fine. Um, what would you tell others that are maybe <laughs> on the fence about rescuing a dog? I would say absolutely do it. Um, we um, have several animals that we have rescued, and um, they've turned out to be the most loving and loyal pets that we've had. Yeah. And I would say absolutely do it to know that you could bring them out of a situation like what we did with with Gracie. That um, 
it's just there's nothing better than to be able to do something like that. And thank you for so, that because it's inspiring yeah. for people to hear more and more people to hear that. I know <laughs> oh, you got she found she's her walking around. Right. And I love it. If you hear a little noise in the background, <laughs> it's a link <laughs> getting dragged. <laughs> but go ahead, go make yourself uh, comfortable. Also, you know what else is beautiful too for people to know that you can get a full bred dog from a rescue. Mm -hmm. Yeah, which yeah. Gracie is. A lot of people don't think that, but look at how beautiful she Gracie is. She is a gorgeous yeah. girl, she's and beautiful. honestly, if you hadn't adopted her, I was really tempted. So yeah. I'm glad that yeah. you did because I don't need a six. <laughs> well, so why don't you remind everybody about our two uh, beautiful, adoptable, yes, available yes. doggies that we had today. Yes, let's for get more this happy tales. Seven ninety nine, climbing into the eight hundreds. I know we can do it. We started with Duncan, who is a beautiful white Maltese mix, maybe some Westie, maybe some oh, Terrier. He's, so cute he's located here in LA through Vanderpump Dogs. He's about eight years old. Very sweet little guy. Would be great for someone who just wants a lap dog. He's a he's a sit on the sofa and chill kind of dude. So he's awesome. And Vanderpump's, VanderpumpDogs.org is where you can find out more. And then Natalie, the Staffordshire Terrier mix is gorgeous. Chestnut Oof. color, red, gold. Gosh. She's available at in South Park, Pennsylvania at South Hills Pet Rescue. She's about two years old. Okay. She came in with puppies and was kind of not in the best condition, but she's Ooh. gained 30 pounds, believe oh. it or not. And she is ready to rock and roll and be somebody's best friend.